guys what's this it's more of a like a tick mark but it isn't tick mark then what is this okay and today i'm gonna discuss with you guys in this video that what's this and what's the use of it and also the tricks so it's a bumper video for all of you guys who are watching this so let us start but first of all i would like to give an introduction to all of you guys as you know that guys i am Rezwan ahmed priyanto an eighth grader obviously of mibukan public school and college and i am also tesla lana here so guys how are you hope you all are fine by the grace of almighty allah alhamdulillah i am also fine by the grace of almighty allah so guys i was talking about this mark so what's this this is a mathematical charm so it's very important for you guys okay so this name is its name is root marks yes root then what's the use of it we put this root mark in front of numbers not all numbers but some numbers few numbers so it's actually just opposite to the square i mean the square value like here what do you know that 2 squared means 4 how we get it 2 into 2 is equal to 4 here also like that 15 squared is equal to 225 so it means that 15 multiplied by 15 it means 225 so 15 squared the value is 225 so this root mark is always put in front of the number the number which is squared like if the same thing I'm gonna do is 225 if I put a root mark in front of it then it means not a division mark it must be a root mark so if I put this it means 225 root root of 225 is its answer will be 15 very easy and very funny so how I get it cause 15 into 15 the one they are here we are multiplying same number and we are getting the squared value guys so in this root term mathematical term we are also doing the same thing that's why 225 its root value is 15 just the upside down the result the question will be like this and you guys have to get the answer 15 very easy and guys in this video if you are watching this full video then it will be very helpful for everyone for the junior brothers and also the seniors for everyone so because i'm gonna teach you share with you guys that how to do root with some short technique so without wasting any more time let's get into our topic first of all to learn the metric of getting the squared number we have to first memorize some rules are given from them the squared number from 1 to 9 so 1 squared is 1 everyone knows 2 squared is 4 3 squared is 9 3 squared 9 3 into 3 4 squared 16 5 squared 25 9 squared 81 8 squared 64 7 squared 49 6 squared 36 now guys you're gonna ask me some question that why i have put these oval shapes it's also part of rule guys that's why i put here so i'm gonna make you understand first of all what i get in this video here i will teach you that how to root two digit number you already know no need to teach you that three digit number and of course four digits so it's a bump up video for all of you guys wait a minute why I have put these oval shapes because in a number three digits suppose we're taking 576 okay this is a squared number and these tricks I am giving in this video must be work only on squared numbers not other decimal numbers okay to make sure the perfect square into root okay so 576 so guys in this number the last digit you can see is six okay so as per there's uh, some rules you can see here as per the rules number three i'm gonna show you that as per the rules if the last digit is one then there's a chance of last digit 
of answer 1 or 9. If there is last digit 4, then there is a chance of answer second digit answer will be 2 or 8. So like this, if there is a last digit 9 in this question value, then the answer value last digit will of course be 3 or 7. If the last digit is 6, then of course its possibility of last, I mean second digit answer will must have 4 or 6 and if there is 5 then it will be 5, very easy of second digit. So some basic rules here, I'm gonna show you now. 576, so from this let's start just the demo from this one, 576. All we have to do is first, first of all, check the rules here. Then I'm going to show you. Make pair from behind. Do you know guys what's pair? Two things together makes a pair. That is why I'm putting from behind one, two. This one is a pair. And now you guys are going to question me, ask me that. Priyanto, there's a single number, five. Then what will we do now? No problem, Sakuna Matata. That if there's a single digit, then it's alone is number it's alone a number so very easy task then we have to do this is look for the closest or equal possible square digit closest or equal possible square digit guys if you haven't memorized this one two five this number squared value then you must cause these are the main that you must memorize to know the square root value that is why we're gonna start from the left side. And the left side, there's only five, as we have done a pair. That is why we're gonna divide. Here, five. What is the closest? Let us find from one to nine. Let's see. Or we can also get the equal one, but let's see what comes. One squared one is too short. Let's go for more. Two squared four, okay. Let's go another more. It's be close, let's get another more. 3 squared 9, but 9 is getting rarer than 5, so our math answer is not matching. So we need to take the closest or the equal, there, as there is no equal number. So we are gonna take 2 squared 4. Here, oh, another thing guys, I am gonna say that, we have got here 2 divides, that means 2 pairs, one is that and one is single. That means we can get here two answer as we have got here two blanks that means our answer value will be of two digits please listen to my all things that i'm saying carefully because it's very helpful and it's gonna help you all over the life okay so as i have said the two square four now i will put here two. Oh my god our first digit answer is complete another one is left very easy no problem this one is complete, no need to think that Priyanta we got 4 and if we get here then minus 4 there will be 1 remaining, no problem, forget about this, think that it's over. Okay, if you choose the correct number of answer first digit then Hakuna Matata, then 76, this task is complete, the time of our last task, so 76, okay. Let's go and read some more rules. According to the last digit, pick up the option. Hmm. According to the last digit, pick up the option. Let's first pick up the option. As I have told in the first earlier that if the last digit is 6, then what two numbers are there that could be in the option? That could be in the chances of the answer, second digit. You haven't understood? I say that what would be the last digit? This last digit is 6. So, what are the numbers for the candidates for the second digit answer? These are obviously 4 and 6 as they have 6 number in the last. That is why 4 and 6. So, our options are 4 and 6. Now guys, we cannot put or we cannot add 4 plus 6, 10, then we will put no. We cannot do. Then how? We'll choose that which one is our answer. Hmm? It's very easy. For that, you have to do another work. Let's go to the next rules. 
Mm -hmm. For the second digit of answer that we are finding, we are in trouble now. First answer digit will be multiplied with its next number. So, what's our first answer digit, guys? Oh my god, it's the answer value and what's our first answer digit? Number one, it's two. So, we're gonna just have to do is multiply with its next number. Can you guys guess? That what is next number? After 2 comes 3, everyone knows. So we're gonna multiply it. 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6. Guys, another thing that I'm showing you this math, root math, in a long way. That doesn't mean that this process is also long. If you do it mentally, then it's very easy, guys. You cannot understand that how much you will be a math genius for sure. Math hacker, obviously. So 2, 3 is a 6. Now our this step is complete then guys let's go to the rule. Then we are gonna do that is then we have to compare it the result we got is 6. So we have to compare with whom? It the 6 number will be compared with the question. Question's first two digits and the first two digits. But Priyanta, we haven't got here two digits. We have got single digit. Okay, then let's just compare with this digit. Six comparing with five. Who's greater? Our answer is greater or question is greater? Obviously, our this answer is greater. That's why. So now what we're gonna do? If we got the greater value than the question, listen it carefully. If we got the greater value, then we'll pick up the lower option. And if we have the lower value, then we'll pick up the higher option. Very easy. So, this we got greater or lower. We got 6, which is greater than 5. Our answer is greater than 5. That's why we're gonna do just nothing. We just have to pick up the lower option. Okay, our lower option. What's our lower option? 4 or 6? 4 or 6? 4, obviously. Okay, guys. So, we have to pick up this one. 24 is the square root of 576 guys can you imagine we just did this math like a hacker and if we do more following these rules then it's gonna very easy guys wait a minute these are some exercises let's do it just early fast don't skip a single moment of this video because every moment is very helpful guys haha <laughs> 3136. Three, Let's do first of all pair. I'm gonna just do this first one and the second and third one is practice of you guys. Okay. So as we have got here two one, so two houses, one and two, two dash. That means our answer will be in one and two lines. Very easy. <laughs> then let's go to the closest square value number as per number one rules. 5 5 is a 25, 6 6 is a 36. Oh, oh, 6 is getting greater. So we have no equal. Then we have to choose just the closest one. That means 5. Haha, <laughs> first digit. So very easy. Then this one is completed. And then 36. Then you guys will think that we'll just put here 6 and cause 6 6 is a 36. No. Don't overtake these rules because these rules is 100% correct for squared value digits into roots, okay? So as per rules, there is 6 or 4. I mean, there is 6 in the last digit and what's the rules we have to do is pick up the option. So as per option, 4 or 6 will come to help us. Number A, 4 and number B, haha, 6. Okay, very easy, very fun. Then... Which one to pick up? As for number 3 rules, we have to just multiply this number with its next one. So 5 plus 1, eight, that means 6. 5 multiplied by 6 is 30. We got 30 and comparing 30 with 31, which one's greater? Our answer or that question? Obviously that question, that means our answer is smaller. And if we get the answer comparing with the question small, then we have to pick the big option our big option is four no our big option is six okay guys so we're gonna put a six and we have got our congratulations you have got your answer 
56. So how was my video guys? It was very helpful. If you are uh, just a young 3, 4, 5, then you will not get to understand. But please, I believe me, it's very helpful for every student. So guys, today there's my presentation on root. Okay, so it's very easy. Now for every child, every man, it's very easy. So guys, today I'm gonna just leaving now. So see you in my next video. Until then, stay safe. Assalamu alaikum. Uthte gaye, pure jete hi paro. Kintu kichhu tei thama jabe na. Shuru ta shab shumoi kochhe na taro. Kintu shab holle shuru to ekhan thekei. Shamne onye ek baad hajbe. Arey baad hai, toma ke korbe aro shukti shali. Jibon tuar prista guna pandule pinoy. এটা সীমাহীন ও অজানা লক্ষ্য স্থির করে পরিশ্রম করো আর বিকাশ ঘটাও তোমার সুপ্ত প্রতিভার অনেকের মধ্যে একজন নয় হতে হবে অদ্বিতীয় অনন্য এবং আমরা তোমার পাশে আছি প্রশিক্ষক হিসেবে তোমার ভুলকে মেনে নেওয়ার ধৈর্য আমাদের আছে কারণ আমরা জানি ভুল করাই তোমার শেখার প্রমাণ আমরা এসএসসি 2021 শিক্ষার্থীদের জন্য অসাধারণ একটি কোর্স ডিজাইন করেছি পরীক্ষা শেষ হওয়া মাত্রই চলে এসো অনেকের মধ্যে অন্যতম হতে সবাই একসাথে উদযাপন করব তোমার শ্রেষ্ঠত্বের বিজয় ফেসল বাংলাদেশ শিখর ছোয়ার অঙ্গীকার এভরি ডিটেইলস ইন দা ক্যাপশন